All right, everyone, welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're going to be reacting to Lee Sin. Now, the funny thing is, I was playing League of Legends yesterday, and I, uh, I played Lee Sin on a whim. Just on a whim. We won that game, though I did, I did terribly. But then I come wake up like a few minutes ago, and Lee Sin Champion Showcase for Legends of Ruterra. I just thought that was kind of funny. Now, let us go into predictions. What do I think Lee Sin's going to bring to the table? Well, he is the blind monk. So, I don't know. He's, I think he's going to have a play effect. You play him and he's going to do something. Either he's going to do direct damage to a... Uh, to uh, one of uh, a singular target, or he's gonna recall that singular target. Yeah, I think that that sounds about proper. He's gonna have like a, a single target recall or something like that on play. Or, I mean, I guess he could have an elusive counter, but that would be kind of weird, because you know of, uh, you know, he's a. I mean, he himself could be elusive. But I don't know if that would work. Alright, enough theory crafting. Let's jump right into it and see what this is all about. Beware the dragon spirit. <laughs> Gains keywords when you play stuff. Oh, Isn't it? Now you got seven spells in the game. The dragon spirit awakens. When you cast a spell, give me challenger this round. If you cast cast another, give me berry. Oh. Okay. So that's what it is. So I cast one spell, you give me challenger. I cast another, it gives me berry. Okay. That makes more sense. Uh I dragon rage enemies that I challenge. Is that recalling? He does. Stand as a Noxian or die as an Ayun. Oh, I made wait. my choice long ago. Yeah, he just sent. Ignore that yawn. I just woke up. Uh, well, yeah. He seems pretty straightforward, actually. Beware they the dragon really do the spirit. Same that usually do with the other videos. Show his initial keyword uh, card. And ooh, that four two is interesting. That spell. Oh, he has a spell that gives. It says, give me, give this, oh my god. Oh, that spell must have multiple effects. So much at least in, okay. Okay, we're probably going to see that spell a little later, but from the looks of it there, it, it was like, first first time I cast this spell, um, give it, give it a unit challenger, second time, give it attack. 
That's what it looked like. Yeah, that was that was great. I liked it a lot. All right, let's move on to the Twitter account. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. All right. One, you cast a spell. Give me challenges. From, yeah, we already see that, seen that. We've already seen that. All right. Uh, Dragon Rage. A seven mana slow spell. An ally strikes an enemy and their nexus. If the enemy survives, recall it. An ally strikes an enemy and their nexus. Oh, it doesn't strike the enemy into the nexus. What? Why would? Why did they say that in the video? This is completely different. Oh my gosh, that wording in the video confused me. No, this is, this is like I I thought it was like okay, hit, hit the enemy into their nexus and kill them. That's what I that's what I heard. This is what, that's what I assumed. And oh whatever, it's whatever, dude. It's still a good guard. Good card. Um, the slow spell d definitely hurts it, and the sem seven mana is pretty costly. You can get this from Flash of Brilliance now, though. That'd be interesting. Alright. Claw of the Dragon. Claw of the Dragon. Summon me from hand once you've played two spell this. So... Oh, what? Oh, is this a new archetype? This is a very scary archetype, dude. This is a very scary archetype. Oh, imagine this was Starlight Seer. <laughs> Starlight Seer would have a field day. You would buff so many cards and then you get a valuable card played. The value train. Alright, more pictures. Sonic Wave. Looks like we're just getting uh, that one minion. Give it, give an ally challenger this round. Create a fleeting resonant strike in hand. Okay, and resonant, resonant strike is give an ally two damage this round. Yep, okay. And it costs less too, so that's nice. Retreat. Recall an ally to create a fleeting return in hand. What? Recall an ally to create a fleeting return in hand. Oh. So it's just a two mana recall on an ally. And then get another recall from it. Well, we have... We have a card that does that. Um, it's called... Uh, it's called Recall. And it's one manda. And it's much... And even that is, like, barely playable. So I don't know how about a two mana version that creates another one of itself in hand. I don't know if that's even viable, dude. I don't even know if that's viable. <laughs> it might be more viable with the... the with the casting spell archetype, but... Uh, I don't know, man. I don't I don't see much potential in this card. Return. Summon an ally that costs three or less from hand. Wait a second. Did I just make it stupid? Recall an ally and create a fleeting return in hand. Alright. And this is return. Summon an ally that costs three or less from your hand. Well shit. <laughs> That's really good. So I guess I guess retreat is useful. I mean for three man for three mana you get something out there. You you recall something and then get something out there. I mean, that's something, you know, that is something. What is with all these cards? They've released so many more cards for for Ionia than they did from any other other. Which I think makes sense because Ionia is a pretty bare bones region. All you go for it is deny and recall and elusives. That's all you really get from it. 
Stun an enemy to summon a tail of the dragon? Is this some Yasuo support that I see? Son of enemy to summon something? Sounds like a really good thing to have with Yasuo. Tail of the dragon. A 3-3-2. Three, three, when I'm recalled, transform me into concussive palm. This is some Yasuo support, isn't it? This is some Yasuo support, isn't it? Scale of the dragon. Scales of the dragon. When I'm summoned, create a dragon's protection in hand. Shit, dude. Shit, dude. What's with all these cards, dude? S dragon's protection. It's the slow spell. Grant an ally plus three health. I see. So, if you put it on him himself he becomes a uh, uh, four or five and so he would become a six man of four or five uh, uh, I mean that's guaranteed value but and it's a spell and if you if you have the spell synergy then that works out but there's a lot less spell synergy than I thought there would be I mean yeah, it feels like there's a lot less. Now that I think about it, Lee Sin also synergizes with Shen. Oh my gosh. Having having Lee Sin, having having played two spells, uh, Lee Sin gets Barrier and Challenger. He challenges something. Away from... Wait, what's, the, what's Lee Sin's cost anyways? I never. I don't think I ever saw that. I might have missed it. He's a six drop. All right. So he's pretty underrated for understated. That would make sense, considering he can get challenger and barrier for just playing spells. Lee Sin with Lux sounds awesome. <laughs>